Hi, I'm Klaus Hermann, founder and editor of Farbspielfoto.com, where we make your photography simple. This tutorial video is an excerpt of my personal workflow courses for Lightroom and Photoshop. If you're watching this prior to September 15th, 2015, you have the unique chance of snatching both courses as a free bonus. Just stick around till the end of the video where I will tell you how. And now, have fun with the tutorial. That's the first thing that we're going to do. We're going to organize these images. Okay, and when I say organize, I mean essentially three things. The first thing is stacking. Now, I'm a person who likes to take multi-image, uh, mul sets of multiple images that are then converted into a single final image. For example, an HDR image consists of a set of a differently exposed source photos. So for a single final image, I'm going to have at least three source photos. For a panorama, I may have anywhere between two and 30 photos, maybe. If it's a panorama done in HDR, it's going to be even worse. Um, and so there are different um, types of photography, and I'm one of those people who likes doing them, different types of photography that require you to record and, um, and shoot a set of source images that are then converted into a single final image. Now that's what you see here when you look at my screen. For example, the upper row with the first three images, all of them are from the same perspective of the same subject, differently exposed. That's an HDR exposure series, an auto exposure series that I've taken with my camera. Now, if I scroll down, you can see that I've got lots of these exposure series here. And that is essentially a big mess. So it's a lot of clutter in my in this preview area where I see all the thumbnails. And the first thing that I would like to do before I go into uh, the actual organization and management aspects of my photos is to clear up that clutter. And the way I'm doing this is by using Lightroom's stacking feature. Now stacking is a very handy thing if you are recording a series of photos that actually belong together. Now let me show you what I mean. For, for example, these three photos here, exposure series for HDR. I'm going to select the first one, holding down the shift key, I'm going to click on the last one. So all the three images are now selected. I can now right click on any of those images and go to the stacking menu and say group in stack. And what that does, as you see, is those three images have now become um, one image. Not actu actually not one image, but it is displayed as one image. It's actually displayed as a stack of images. And you can see that by this little icon here in the, in the left upper corner of the uh, thumbnail, which is a, a, a set of cards, so to speak, or a stack of cards and a three in it. That means that's a stack of, of photos with three photos in it. Now I can press the letter S on my keyboard to expand that stack. So I see all the three photos again. And if I press S again, it's going to collapse that stack again. And that takes away a lot of clutter from the images that I'm taking. Other examples um, include focus stacking, for example. If you're taking a macro photo and you don't have enough depth of field, so you vary the, the focus on your subject and create a series of photos that you then want to um, combine in a method that's called fo focus stacking so that you have everything sharp from back to front, even if none of the individual photos is, has a sharp subject. That's another example of a, a multi-exposure photo photography technique. Um, you may also take, for example, action photos where you take a whole series of shots in very short succession. These are also great for stacking. So you group those photos together to make them more manageable. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through those images. You see the next series here is a set not of three images, but actually of six images. So this uh, group of images starts here and goes all the way down here. And I'm going to, this time I'm going to use the, the keyboard shortcut. It's control or command G on your keyboard. And those six images are stacked. Now, the way I'm taking HDR photos is um, that I'm usually doing 
series of three, six or nine photos. So a good way of verifying that I really group the right photos is to see whether there are multiple of three. Okay, and that's what I'm using here as a sanity check for it, so to speak, as a, for plausibility. Now here's the next um, set of photos. It starts here and you can see same subject, only different exposure. And I've taken a lot of photos of this subject because it was difficult lighting situations, so I had to try a few times. And the series stops here. 24 photos, dividable by three, great. So I think I have it. I press Control or Command uh, G, and I've got another stack here. And I got to scroll up here. And you see the three stacks that I've created, a three image stack, six images, and 24 images. And I'm going to go on through the entire set doing this and I'm going to speed that up a little bit so that I'm not boring you to death and I'm going to be back after I'm finished. So as you've seen it has taken a while to stack those images together but now I've got a very clean view on my images. I don't have like 18 or 24 uh, images of the, of the same subject with different exposures which can be quite hard to look at and uh, select in order to process them uh, afterwards. But now I've got individual stacks of individual subjects and I know that essentially each of these contains exposure series which I could potentially turn into HDR images and that makes the, the, the management aspect of the whole um, Lightroom work m so much more uh, so much easier uh, for me. So, as I said, if you're watching this prior to September 15th, 2015, you're lucky. Because you can snatch your free copy of my personal workflow courses for Lightroom and Photoshop, and here's how it works. Simply head over to the link below where the 5-Day Deal Team organizes the biggest bundle sale in the history of photography. It's running between September 10th and 15th, 2015, and this is your unique chance to get a huge bundle of high-class photography education and tools from the world's best photographers at an insane discount. No matter which type of photography you're into, this is the best investment you can make in your own photography. And in addition to that, you can even win over $50,000 worth in prices. If you purchase the bundle through this link, I will send you the download links to my full personal workflow courses within 24 hours. But please do make sure that you use this link to start your checkout process for the bundle. Otherwise I will not have your details and I cannot send you anything. So I hope I'll see you for the 5 day deal event. Take care and have fun.